in a game that continues to evolve away from what happens with a ball at a player's feet, shirt numbers are an eagerly anticipated part of a team season. Whether that be waiting to see what number a new signing has taken or seeing if a young talent has managed to shuffle down the pecking order, the squad numbers have moved away from the traditional 1-11 to meaning and can tell us more about what is thought of certain numbers. Players themselves like to have a say in it too, and while it's cool that they care, some care a little too much. Messi's number 30 at PSG it's going to take some real good adjusting to see Lionel Messi in a new club jersey. He'll also be donning a new number after his switch to French club PSG. For years, Messi wore the number 10 shirt for FC Barcelona in Spain. With the move to France, the 34-year-old free agent superstar will be making a change wearing the number 30 shirt. There's a significance behind the selection and it has nothing to do with NBA star Steph Curry. Messi wore the number 30 shirt at Barcelona when he first broke into the senior team as a youngster in the 2004-05 season. He actually wore the number 30 for his first two seasons before switching to the number 19 jersey in the 2006-2007 and 2007-8 campaigns, biding his time while Brazilian star Ronaldinho graced the number 10 shirt. Ronaldinho vacated the number 10 when he moved to AC Milan in 2008, allowing Messi to graduate to the Barcelona number 10 jersey in 2008-9. He would not give it up for 13 full seasons. Another reason Messi didn't opt for the number 10 at PSG. It's currently worn by Messi's friend and ex-Barcelona teammate Neymar. Reports stated that the Brazilian had even gone as far as offering his shirt to the Argentine, but Messi declined the gesture. The number 19 is also worn by PSG Spanish midfielder Pablo Sarabia. In addition to wearing it for two seasons with Barcelona, Messi had donned the number 19 jersey in his younger days playing for the Argentina national team. It's in the number 30 that Messi will hope to make history at PSG. Everything about the club matches my football ambitions, he said. I know how talented the squad and the coaching staff are here. I'm determined to help build something special for the club and the fans, and I'm looking forward to stepping out onto the pitch at the Parc des Princes. Donnarumma's PSG Jersey Number John Luigi Donnarumma has taken the number 50 shirt at Paris Saint-Germain after signing on a free transfer from AC Milan. The Italy Euro 2020 hero has signed a five-year contract with the French Giants and follows up the additions of Gini Wijnaldum, Sergio Ramos, and Akir Hakimi. But the 22-year-old was unable to select his favorite shirt number at the Parc des Princes. Since he debuted with Milan as a 16-year-old, Donnarumma wore the number 99 in between the sticks as it was the year he was born. However, League One rules prohibit goalkeepers from wearing such a number and infamously prevent Mario Balotelli from wearing number 45 at Nice and Marseille. The numbers 1, 16, and 30 were specifically reserved for goalkeepers, but in this instance, they're occupied by Kaylor Navas, Sergio Rico, and Alexander Lenelier, respectively. As per footy headlines, the number 40 and the number 50 are last resort and so it appears as if a special reprieve has been granted. Courtesy of a rough translation from Balls.ie, the LFP rule number 670 reads, Every League 1 and League 2 club must establish the number assignment list on Izzy Foot 72 hours before the start of the competition. This list cannot exceed 30 names. The number 30 is the last in the list and may be supplemented and updated with every movement in the club. If a club justifies employing over 30 professional players under contract, the board may grant an exception to the preceding paragraph. Whimsical doubts are prohibited, example, between 45 to 82. The numbers 1, 60, and 30 are exclusively and necessarily reserved for goalkeepers. Ultimately, the number 40 can be assigned. All teams must have a jersey with number 33 that's not assigned to a player and reserved for breaking replacements. A directory is established early in the season and available to referees and delegates by the LFP. 
Incredibly, Donnarumma is now the ninth goalkeeper in PSG's first team squad, with manager Mauricio Pochettino just two players away from fielding a full 11 of goalkeepers. Cristiano Ronaldo's number 7 Cristiano Ronaldo has become synonymous with the iconic number 7 shirt, wearing the number in his first stint at Manchester United and continuing the tradition during his time at Real Madrid and Juventus. And now, he's returned to Manchester United in a sensational transfer and has once again been reunited with the legendary number 7 jersey. The Portuguese superstar, also known as CR7, has turned his name and digit into an international brand and it's hard to remember that he was ever associated with another number. Ronaldo has long been associated with the number 7, which has also helped him create the global brand of CR7. Though the Portuguese striker has become synonymous with the number, it wasn't his favorite shirt of choice until he arrived at Manchester United. He wore the number 28 during his time at Sporting Lisbon, and it was only when he signed for the Red Devils in 2004 when then-manager Sir Alex Ferguson convinced him to take the iconic shirt due to his belief that Ronaldo would be able to reach the same height as those who had previously worn the number that a new era was opened. The striker arrived at Old Trafford, asking to wear his favorite choice of 28, but Ferguson talked him into taking the 7 jersey that was worn by such greats including David Beckham, George Best and Eric Cantona. Sure enough, Ronaldo set the Premier League on fire, ravaging opposition defenses and it was in England where he won his first Ballon d'Or award in 2008 after scoring 42 goals in a single season. However, when he moved to Real Madrid in 2009, he wore number 9 until the number 7 shirt was vacated by the legendary Raul who left to play for Schalke in 2010. He would go on to succeed Raul in every sense during his 9 year spell in Madrid, surpassing the Blanco's hero to become the club's leading goal scorer of all time. Following Ronaldo's return to Old Trafford in 2021, Edinson Cavani vacated the number 7 shirt to the number 21 in order for the Portugal captain to assume his favorite number. Manchester United can confirm that Cristiano Ronaldo will wear the iconic number 7 shirt after returning to Old Trafford, the club explained in a statement published on its official website. The Portuguese superstar famously wore the legendary shirt number during his first bell at United and we can now confirm that Ronaldo will have it on his back once again. It has previously been worn by club icons like George Best, Brian Robson, Eric Cantona and David Beckham. Now it returns to the man who succeeded Beckham in it, Ronaldo. Ronaldo inherits the number from Edinson Cavani, who wore the shirt last season and in our away win at Wolverhampton Wanderers last weekend. As our new signing is allocated number 7, El Matador will switch to number 21, the same number our prolific striker wears for the Uruguayan national team. Before moving on to the next point, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any more football related videos. Wilfred Boney's number 2 Wilfred Boney has lifted the lid on the reason why he will wear the number 2 shirt after rejoining Swansea City from Manchester City on deadline day. The Ivory Coast International's £12 million switch was finally confirmed in the minutes following the 11pm deadline. The arrival of the 28-year-old paved the way for Fernando Llorente to complete his move to Tottenham and Ollie McBurney to head to Barnsley on loan. Boney, who scored 34 goals on 70 appearances during his first spell with the Swans, wore the number 10 shirt during his original stint at the Liberty Stadium, but that option was not available on this occasion as lone arrival Tammy Abraham had already taken those digits. So Boney, who spent last season on loan at Stoke, opted to take the number 2, last worn by Jordi Amon, to signify his second chance with the Swans. It's a special number for me, he said. It's the second time I'm at the club, hence I wanted to wear number 2 and I want to achieve more for the team. Tommy Orr's number 121 While most players dream of wearing the number 7 or 10, Orr was stuck with the number 121 and the reasons why have varied ever since. 
the current MacArthur FC winger has now looked to set the record straight and explained he had no input in the long digit that was put on his back for his debut. Well, it wasn't only me that had a very strange number in that camp because I remember before the Asian Cup qualifiers began, I'm pretty sure that the FFA had to register any potential Australian player and give them a number that couldn't be changed or told Sporting News. So I guess the numbers would have been registered one or two years before that when I would have been 16 or something at the time. Yeah, so I would have been the 121st player registered and then I guess when I was selected 12 months later or whatever it was, the number couldn't be changed. So it's quite a funny story. To be honest, I get strange articles all the time. My whole career, people are showing me articles of people just making up stories, writing articles about it when they see that I wore that number. I think one of the common ones I've read is that because I'm often number 11, being a left winger, and they say because I couldn't get number 11, I went to 11 square, which is 121. Completely ridiculous. You've got to laugh. And that's all we have for you guys in today's video. If you want to know more about the football stars and their lives, do click on any one of these videos on your screen. See you there!